Hello everybody, this is Enemy, and today I'm going to be showing you my new world that I've been playing on for two months now. Something unfortunate happened to my old one, and I'm playing on this one now. So let's get a move on. Oops. Okay. Over here is the entrance to my base. If you throw an item in this lock, it opens the door. Then when you step through, it closes it. On this left side is my storage area. This side is the stone. And this chest is empty because, say this is full, which it is, you just put um, the items in here and it goes down to more chests below. I have an ender chest and an anvil right here. And when you click on this, when you step on that pressure plate, a crafting table comes up. Down these stairs on the right side, I have my enchantment table room. I have mine cards in these bookshelves for storage. Oops, and also I have uh, lapis and more books. See this block right here? If you press this button, these blocks go back and there's more chests for storage. And this block gets pulled back and I have the um, block swapper right here for the crafting table on the stone and here are the chests for the stone and uh, other stuff like granite and the, the new stone blocks. This is the redstone for my door and if you notice the glowstone outside my entrance um, it switches with a cobblestone when it's daytime and then when it's nighttime it switches with the glowstone because it's dark and uh, mobs could possibly spawn right there. So let's head out here. Click this button again. And uh, down here on the left side, this is my branch mining stairway. But you can also jump down here, hold space, and you, line up, you land on the slime box. I also have an enchantment table here. Right here is an item sorter, uh, not item sorter, uh, item elevator. Uh, say that you're branch mining a lot and except for going all the way up again you can just stick in this chest and it'll bring up bring up the items to the chest up there I haven't done too much branch mining because I started doing the speed mining over here is my beacons I have speed 2 and jump boost 2 I've been trading a lot in this world so that's how I got all this emerald blocks it's not filled in the in the inside I just wanted to fill it out on the outside and I have a couple spots left here because I had to expand it for the second beacon. On the left side here I have a little device where there's a single piston that pushes this up and then a double extender because when I started this world and uh, and found this place I dug a 3x3 hole to get down to Y12 and I didn't really want to fill it up once I thought of the stairway. So I kind of decorated it with uh, platforms and uh, and chests and and fences. So and I couldn't reach the ladder um, before, so I just had this. It's pretty cool. Uh, a faster way to get up than uh, to take the staircase is over here. I have a minecart elevator. These are chests where the items go into. Here's my nether portal. This turns it on. This turns it off. Here's my brewing area. You click, uh, let's see what's in here. I have speed potions. More water bottles go into the brewing stand. When you take those out, you click the button for another warp. And then you click, let's make another speed potion. You click the sugar for the, to make speed. And it'll go into this hopper. And let's extend it with redstone. And then once the nether wart is done. Let's just wait for this. A couple seconds left. The sugar will go in and then the redstone is right here uh, waiting after the sugar. This does the exact same thing. Click that button. There's an entrance to check out the back. I have empty bottle. Oh, I did have empty bottles in there. That's where I store them. Um, this is where the water bottles go. This is where the nether wart goes. If you click this button, it shifts the soul sand to the side and then shifts it back. And then you can just replant it. 
coming out here, let's click this button again, closes up. If you step on this pressure plate, it opens this door, and this is where I store my potions. So let's do that right now. Click it again, and it closes. Down here is my farming area. I have this blocked off because I have to repopulate my cows for my cow farm, but uh, this should be okay. Oh, baby cows haven't grown up yet. Um, so that's where all my cows are. Uh, just like my old world, they're all in uh, one block space. But I have a button right here to turn off the water because I think that creates lag if um, cows are jumping in the water. Um, this button opens the entrance to, uh, for my way to get to the cows. And the button beside it has storage for the, for the raw beef and the leather. The melon farm and pumpkin farm work the same way. You step on this pressure plate and then you run through, pick it up, and step on the pressure plate again and store in this in the chest. Right here, I had a chicken farm. Uh, still kind of a chicken farm. I ha I used to have a hundred, uh, almost a hundred um, chickens back there laying eggs, and they lay their eggs onto a hopper, and then. The dispenser would shoot it out and the baby chickens won't burn but when they grow up um, they die by the lava and they'd store their chicken in here i killed them all but a couple because it started getting uh, i don't know if that many chickens would cause lag but I, I did so anyways and i started eating a chicken for this thing to use so uh right here you can just reach the chest to uh, for the feathers that they drop Right here is the wheat farm. Let's click this one. Um, what happens is there there's a double pulse, and uh, so it shoots it out, shoots out the water, and then sucks it back in. And you grab the wheat and then replant it. The chest for the seeds is right here, and the chest for the wheat, oops, is right here. Over on this side, I have my sugarcane farm. When all the sugarcane are fully grown, you get about like 12 or 13 stacks. If you click this button, oh first, here's my mob farm. I, you'll see when I get there. But yeah, they burn from the lava. And the items go down here into an item sorter where I have gunpowder, uh, brown flesh, bones, arrows, and the items you get from witches. I have this sort of design going on, um, seven or eight layers down, and I also have this bat named Edward Cullen. <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty funny. I'm, I've never named a bat before, but yeah, um, I was light this up for now so you can kind of see. It's one of the most basic designs you can do. This is the storage for my shirt cane. Um, let's just break a few. I have a chest right here that brings the sugar cane down to that um, to the storage, so I don't always have to go down there. So let's click that again. Uh, these chests are just decoration. I don't have anything in them. Down this stairway, on the left side, I have my slime, my slime farm. At first, I had an iron golem, but um, I, I changed it up to cactus a couple days ago. And I just have these slime balls going into these chests. Farther down, I have my villagers. And I have a spider spawner right here just for decoration. You can kind of see it. Uh, so let's click this lever. And here are my villagers. I have a couple ones. Uh, completely safe over here because this one has a trade uh, he wants books and six emeralds for a silk touch so that's really good I want him completely safe and this cleric is really good has 36 run flesh for an emerald I think that's the best uh, run fl rotten flesh trade you can get and it wants um, it sells three gold stone for an emerald so that's that's really good uh, at night time, the blocks between his eyes, which are the emerald blocks, go down and there's glowstone behind that to light up the top of his nose during the night so nothing spawns up there. 
um, up this ladder. I just have some more, a little bit more trading materials, and I have almost half a chest of silk touch books. Let's go back up, close that up. If you click this button, oh no, I uh, forgot my, uh, I used a minecart to uh, to get the villagers up there. But anyways, let's just run this way. And most there. Actually, do I have a minecart in here? I do not. Anyways, uh, right here is my zombie spawner. Uh, this just controls uh, the pistons, so in case there's too many and I want to kill them, let's just box them up. Uh, let's just get a few. Yeah, let's block it up. And this button gets them to a one or two hit kill, which is good. I have Ron Flash Thorn here. I, have, I don't have too many because I use that for trading. I have uh, the armor and some the shovels and swords they drop. I have some extra books and lapis and a diamond sword. Oh yeah, splash potion feeling kills them after uh, their one hit. I should do it right now. Just like that, you can pick it up. Uh, yeah, not too many things here. I have an enchantment table, an anvil and ender chest as well. So let's head back and I'll show you the other side of my base. Okay, we're back in the main area, and through this entrance, on the left side, I have a fisherman villager right here, and that's per uh, that's perfect for this area because he wants string and, and fish. So I have a automatic AFK fish farmer here, where you just um, hold right click on your mouse, and eventually you'll catch a fish. It'll go through this hopper, and it'll uh, bring the items to his chest. Behind it, I have a spider spawner, and down below, I have a hopper minecart that brings that picks up the string through the block, and uh, and leads it to an item elevator. Let's go back up. And the chest that gets the string is right here. If you click this button, a minecart will come out. This happens the same uh, at the zombie, a minecart rail <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but I didn't have a minecart, but that's what it does. It comes out of the wall. And. Right here, I have an activator rail that ejects you from the minecart, and uh, what's this one? I did no wait. Yeah, here's the activator rail that ejects you, and the detector rail that opens the opens the wall. Uh, so right here is my skeleton uh, skeleton spawner. It works the same way as the zombie spawner. Like this closes it up, and this brings them to a one hit if you click this. Uh, but special around here is that I have uh, a wheat, potato, and carrot farm right here. So let's get a seed. All you have to do, it's pretty loud. I usually mute my sound when I'm doing this and go off and do something else. But you stand right here. I have bone meal on these. And you just hold right click and it automatically goes up and down once you, once you plant it. So that's good. Let's store those right here. I have an enchantment table right here, an anvil and ender chest, also a crafting table. This chest, uh, let's just get half the seeds. The chest uh, goes into a hopper and it shoots items out. I use that because of all the arrows I pick up. I don't really want it, I just want the bones and uh, some of the armor. I don't really want the enchanted armor, but the chain ones, because you can't craft those. So, uh, let's head back. This is how it works. The minecart comes out. 
by itself through the wall. So anyways, let's head back and go through the nether portal because there's a couple other areas that I want to show you, like the end and my ice farm. Alright, we're in the nether and on the left side I have a hole through the bedrock that works with a method using dark oak saplings. I'm not going to explain that. There's tons of videos out there explaining how to do that. Uh, down this way, this is the path to the stronghold that has the end portal. I just remembered that last week I tore down my Enderman farm because uh, it wasn't doing too good. I have to move it out farther, so I'm not going to show you the end. But over here is my squid farm that I that I did in the desert, quite a quite a ways away. If you come up here, this is the area where the ink sacks get stored and where the squids die. I don't have too many because I need those for uh, black stained glass and written books. So coming all the way up here to the surface, I dug, I think, a 21 by 21 um, hole from Y65 to, I mean, Y63 to Y45. And over there, I just have some chests for the sand and sandstone that I mined up. And you just place water on the top. And uh, I don't know if all of these are source blocks, but I don't think that matters. I think it, as long as it's water. But anyways, yeah, squids spawn here quite a bit too because uh, there's no other water source around, and they they uh, meet up in the middle here, and there's no water, so they die, and the hoppers pick up the ink sacs through the half slab because it can, and it goes into the chest. So let's head back to the Nether, and uh, I guess the last thing I'll show you is the ice farm. Alright, we're here at my ice farm. I just built a little house here for my safety when I'm AFK here. Not really necessary, I could have just dug a hole, but anyway, but it's more for decoration. So here's the ice farm. I'll try as best as I can to explain how it works. Okay, so starting right here, I have a hopper timer that activates the farm I think around every three minutes and this is a pulse shortener that uh, short shortens the pulse to a one tick pulse I, I think I'm making sense <laughs> anyways um, so when this hap when this activates these uh, pistons uh, push the ice box up and these push it to the side and then all these pistons push it down and eventually it just makes a huge cube of ice box let's head back because I just thought of one more thing uh, that I did recently that I can show you in some other cave I found uh, I wasn't expecting it to be uh, too big, but it ended up being humongous. And uh, I tried to light up my way using everything but torches. So most of my uh, lighting items were uh, were jack lanterns and and glowstone. Also, I tried to use some exposed lava to to help me. Uh. So the point of this was just not to use torches and to collect as much materials as I could. I ended up using almost 10 stacks of jack-o'-lantern and glowstone. Oh wait, uh, no, f 5 stacks of glowstone and jack-o'-lanterns. There's still some areas that I haven't lit up, but I think I did a pretty good job um, so far. Like this cave was humongous. and. Uh, this is just a little portion of it that I have in little... <laughs> the 
Yeah, that was pretty loud. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I found a spider dungeon there. So, anyways, I th that's almost about it. I I still I'm gonna leave out my weather killing area in the Nether, just like I did my old world because uh, it's just a uh, it's nothing too special. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what I can do better. I still, <laughs> I still haven't bought a new mic, uh, so so don't say that uh, anything about that. And uh, leave a like if you if you like the video, and leave a comment. And thank you for watching. Oops, I don't want to broadcast. I want to do this. All right, see ya. Okay, now I promise this is the last thing. I forgot to show you this side. Uh, I have a cactus farm right here. Uh, the cactus just grow down here. Pop off because there's a block next to it. Go into this water uh, flow. Then it goes into the hopper and goes up this item sorter. Item elevator. <laughs> I keep getting those mixed up. And farther down. I have a zombie spawner, the first one I found. Uh, when this glowstone is down, zombies can't spawn in these spaces. And when it goes up, they can because it's dark enough. And this is what I use to get zombie villagers when I, when I made this. Um, through this doorway, I just have a couple. This design isn't too good. I sometimes get stuck in the lava. So, okay, I promise that was the last thing, nothing else to show, bye-bye. <laughs>